The first time I heard about Mojo, I said, wait a minute, what's going to happen with all of the Python code that I already have? What's gonna happen with the libraries, the entire ecosystem, Python ecosystem, that already exists? Like, ain't nobody migrating all of that to Mojo now, so what is this going to go? So here is the good news, right? One of the first things the Mojo team did was implementing the ability for you to call any Python library or function from your Mojo code. Here is the way it works. I have a calculator.py script here, which is very simple, only two functions to add and subtract the number. And I have a sample Mojo script. And I want to use my Python code inside my Mojo script. And this is the way you do it. I define, I declare two variables, A and B, and now I'm going to add them up using my calculator script. So I imported the Python module here and I can come and say, because calculator is in the same folder as sample, I can do Python dot add to path and add the current path to my code. And I can just import the module just like this. I'm gonna call it calculator and I'm gonna put here calculator. And now I have access to that script. So I just need to do calculator dot add and pass a and b and i can also do calculator dot sub a and b and let's just capture the results result one result two and we can print them and r1 and r2 uh, if i can type all right so let's just execute this mojo sample and we get seven and three let's see five plus two is seven five minus two is three. All right, so that's working, but that's just a Python script that's living here. Let's, let's say I want to import the library. Let's say it's a NumPy, for example. Well, you can just come here and say our NumPy equals Python import module NumPy. You can import pandas, you can import whatever library already exists in the Python ecosystem and just use it through that variable called NumPy. Uh, for example, array, is going to be, actually, let me call this, just so it looks better, np, and now I can do just your regular np.arrange, and now I'm gonna print it, and we should get an array from zero to nine. Alrighty, that's awesome. So that's the way you integrate Python in Mojo. Hope you liked it.